Oh, it's a given. Daisy will be in this video in some way, shape, or form. Hi, Dean here. And this video should have been made on September 8th. Reasoning? September 8th, 1966 is always the anniversary of Star Trek. And this is a part of my personality that not a lot of people are aware of. The select few who know me personally, family, friends, yes. But let me show the world of the internet and YouTube what my passion is. And I need to back out a bit for this. Yes, it's also animals. But we're going to begin by me introducing one of the key paramount people in my life. A very good friend of mine for 20 plus years. This gentleman taught me everything I know about Star Trek and the collectible community. He's my go-to source, my confidant, my brother from another mother, and he shall forever remain anonymous. This is G-Man's Toy reviews. If you don't know who he is, please take a moment to look at that header and subscribe to his channel. I guarantee you will be thoroughly entertained as I am continually and amazed and awed and inspired to do this video. Now on with the show. It is no secret that I am a tremendous Star Trek collector from my youth to now this stage of my life. Anything to do with the Enterprise, and I'm there. That brings me to this underrated gem. So many people in the collectible community have castigated and just torn asunder this new classic rendition of the Playmates Enterprise. I happen to think it's fabulous. Let me turn out the lights and show how she illuminates and sounds. They totally redid the soundboard, redid the lighting scheme, everything to a perfect mixture. But what I love most is they replaced in the cells in the back with LEDs. Now essentially, she can light up an entire room. And that's just scratching the surface of the effects that this ship has. Prepare for warp maneuvers. Security alert to all decks. Arm photon torpedoes. Man battle stations. Photon torpedoes, fire! And there we go. Let me turn the lights on and show what seems to be the biggest knock against this ship that I vehemently disagree with. It, the, the subtle charm of each of these ships is, is they had their own nuance. Here is the Art Asylum Battle Damaged Enterprise. That is the Hallmark Enterprise. This is the uh, Franklin Mint Enterprise. And this is the Playmate reissued Enterprise. This is not the original. This just came out in 2022. But the biggest knock that people have in complaint is the screw holes. As you can see, they wish that they were more uniformly hidden, a la the Art Asylum version. But I think that is what gives this vehicle its distinctive charm. And she's going to be a very welcomed part of my collection. And here and again, I hope that I did my best friend G-Man, very proud. Eventually we will do something together, but this is my first um, foray into the collectible community and critique of vehicles and so on. Wait till you see the Tomy 3 foot 20 pound diecast enterprise we have coming. That one will do in unison. But I hope you enjoyed it. And here's just a different aspect into my personality. Have a great one.